the Coral Cup is a really unique competition in that you can invent anything you want, anything at all. But the thing is you have to say, why are you inventing this thing? What is that real need? What is that real challenge that you're trying to solve? And be able to talk about what should any good solution do towards me that need. So Cornell Cup does a really good job at preparing these students, whether they're computer science, engineering, for real world collaboration with teams. So whether you are cross-functional between electronics, mechanics, uh, mechanical systems engineering, these are things that students can use before they go into the workforce that really develop those strategies and collaborations between the different organizations and engineers. My project here is a preventative care knee exoskeleton. When you put more ideas into the world that you have, you're going to get all that information back and plus more, right? So us presenting today is only going to encourage us to keep performing on our projects and give us the real ability to call them up and say, oh, I know you have this idea, can we talk about it more so? We're founding a base of intellectuals who want to continue to help one another uh, pursue our passions and pursue these projects. So I think it's important for students to do uh, research like, and create products. Uh, like I guess we're the new generation, right? Um, we come in with a lot of new ideas. We're, I guess, closer to new technology and new ways of thinking about stuff, right? And that's how you constantly push to the maximum of innovation, right? It was what engineers try to do. And there's a lot of times like when even like we pitch products to professors and stuff, they were like, oh, that probably is not going to work. Or like, oh, like, and it's great from the experience to, to give us that, but it's also a good way for us to be like, you know, a bit stubborn and be like, no, no, I, I can make this work, right? And most of the time it'll fail, but it just needs to work once, right? And then boom, you just created something new. SS Mapper is a low-cost autonomous solution for multi-depth water sampling and measuring. So essentially water authorities have realized that there is a big need for sampling and measuring in the river because they only do the measuring at fixed locations along the river and they only sample along the surface of the water instead of sampling at multiple depths. So instead we realized that we need more data, we need denser data and we need it more frequently because we want to collect all of this data, put it in a water quality model and send it to reduce pollution by uh, facilitating regulation proposals. Our, our goal was to make safer drones. I think in our day-to-day -day lives we see problems that we think we can easily solve. Sometimes it's a matter of being brave and go ahead and pursue it. I think if something you will regret or a young person would regret is that if he or she had an idea and never pursued it because he was or she was scared of, of failing or, or felt like they didn't have enough time, I think that person would regret that. I don't think, I don't think the person would ever regret pursuing it. Grand prize winner uh, for this year's Cornell Cup Arm and Able Com Competition. That one, that prize, carrying a $10,000 check behind it as a part of this. But we do have to have a winner for our, for our competition. And this year's winner of the Cornell Cup Arm and Able Competition, give me a drum roll, please. Our winner is SS Mapper. Congratulations. <laughs> Every year, you know, there are new problems that, that we identify as a society, and it's great to see how these students really rise to the occasion. They see the need. They see that, you know, here's a real opportunity that I can prove myself uh, in, in this competition. <laughs>